Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, well, good to see you still yet, yet awake and in, in this uh, in this room in this uh, quite intensive conference. And uh, I will continue, by the way, uh, this uh, theme that you have started with, and I will talk uh, a little bit about uh, possibilities to get finance uh, for your projects, research projects. Also, although I, I mean, I myself, I continue that thread. Um, from policy issues, and I won't need that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I myself represent uh, an official institution in Innovation Norway, which is uh, a governmental institution in Norway. But, however, I work a lot uh, with businesses. But myself, I come from academic, uh, from academia, so I know very well what uh, research directions you are focusing on. But uh, today I am on behalf of uh, Innovation Norway Baltics Director, so I will not be able to take up all the issues that might be interesting and also important to colleagues from Latvia and Estonia. But uh, I am aware of more ideas that take place here in Lithuania locally. Oops, sorry, that was quick. Yes. Uh, as representatives of Innovation Law in Lithuania, we focus mainly on businesses, but to start with, Innovation Norway is a business promotion agency in Norway, and it supports mainly businesses, Norwegian businesses entering markets, in terms of financing and also in providing advisory and consultancy support. We don't work that much with uh, researchers, however, but an idea of my presentation here is to encourage you also to use those opportunities that are available for businesses uh, from Norway and in Norway. Well, in uh, Lithuania, we are only two but associate consultants and we mainly work with businesses, as I mentioned. But what we have, we have uh, two very important areas that we are very active in working with, which one of them is Green Industry Innovation Program. And we are donor partners, so we are quite aware of what is happening over there. And we, I think I met you uh, two days ago in Riga, as yourself, at the same conference where we were rounding up the results of Green Innovation uh, uh, Program, Green Industry Innovation Program run in Latvia and Estonia and Lithuania also, which is coming up to an end. Uh, however, in Lithuania we work mainly with businesses, not that much with research. But especially in the area of green industry innovation, it's so many opportunities for research to be involved and also to apply for funds and also to enjoy having those funds for your research. Uh, clean energy has become a new opportunity area for Norway. Uh, since last year in Norway, there is a tradition to announce an annual goals, annual direction for the opportunities and focus areas. And we just got this new dream commitment, as we call it in Norway, or they call it. And these are the six new areas that are confirmed by Norwegian government. And it is supposed to be the areas of importance because those are the six opportunities for Norwegian businesses and scientists also to focus on in promoting the Norwegian business and competence worldwide. Clean energy, you will see, is among one of is one of those areas, and clean energy focuses on exactly on what you have touched upon already today quite a lot. Uh, first of all, renewable energy production and everything which comes in connection to renewable energy production and storage, distribution, streamlining, and use also in the industry. You have discussed a lot of areas where you discussed about increasing efficiency in, and also getting more resources in, in place. Uh, why Norway? Well, actually, it's a lot of EU funding available for Lithuanian researchers and also companies, but Norway has got its own obligation to the uh, EU. And there is funding available, but I have to stress that there are some other aspects why Norway is in place here. And I think this is why you have that picture here, is uh, actually, Norway is the largest clean energy investor so far in the Baltics. <coughs> and this picture, I think, comes from uh, Varda uh, for Energia project in Estonia, probably. And uh, they are quite active also here, locally in Lithuania. So it's a lot of uh, clean energy investors and activities in, Baltic, in the Baltics coming from Norway and mainly in joint partnerships. 
And it's not limited to business. It's also uh, spreading and also expanding to include researchers. And as it says in the slide that um, Norwegian capital invests money in search for ideas and also possibilities to develop their startups, for example, and very innovative solutions like in solar parks, etc. I guess more aware about more, that's more familiar to to Estonian colleagues. And also Norwegian clusters that uh, specialize themselves in energy research and energy products and uh, energy innovations. They're very interested in cooperation with local companies and local researchers. Now, uh, Norway grants Green Industry Innovation Program. This program, uh, one program is over, the other one we expect to start. No, it's not started yet, even though it, start, it was supposed to start in 2014. That's a new financing period. And we expect this program to be also very active here locally in, in Lithuania. It, it's going to be definitely in Estonia and Latvia because of the huge success. We have we had a good chance to get to know. But uh, the fact is that the, Norway has been the largest so far financier of green business development and initiatives. And this needs to be utilized <coughs> also extended. What is important is that it's not only about businesses, it's about ex exchanging ideas, technologies, competences that come over from Norway and to Norway. So no, local ideas are also very important. Capital as well and new markets. Um, during our years of, years of experience, we used to see that Baltic uh, businesses and researchers would search for markets uh, in Norway, now we see also opposite direction that uh, ideas and businesses come over to the Baltics uh, to search for new markets over here as well. So uh, those are the possibilities also to apply and to participate in the projects and fin finance by the Green Industry Innovation Program. One but I have to mention also that the main applicant, however, in this program needs to be a commercial institution of business. But there is no restriction to any research institution to become partner in those projects. And especially, as we say, um, in areas like based to energy, bio, energy, energy IT, and not only energy IT, also green IT industries and, and areas. Well, this... Uh, Sources of funding are quite probably familiar, but just to remind that uh, Innovation Norway provides funding together with some other institutions, and therefore, I guess, therefore, we have yourself and ourselves also representing in that conference, also reminding you that uh, finances could be obtained and also uh, financing projects initiatives come from different countries, uh, from like from country basis to regional basis. In even in including the EU horizon financing available for joint projects. Okay. Well, I have also listed uh, the agencies that uh, represent locally, nationally, I mean in Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, that usually run the programs and are responsible for the programs um, that can sort of uh, inform you and also invite to participate in joint, joint projects so far. Thank you, and I wish you all the best in attracting new ideas and uh, using those funds that are available for businesses and also for the research. <laughs>